Hello everyone, I'm Sharanya P.S. In this session, I will be discussing one of the very important concept, pattern displaying. It is one of the common question asked in most of the placement drive or in the interviews. Now, I will be discussing in detail with different example how we can display the pattern in different ways. Suppose, if the given pattern is like this. Usually, the question will be asked to write the code to get the output for the given pattern. In the very first example here, uh, here we are uh, taking one kind of the pattern that is star display. Star is uh, mentioned. This is how we need to get as a final output. Some of the basic questions that we have to uh, ask ourselves and find the answers before printing the or before writing the code is first and foremost thing. Whenever some output how we need to get as a result or the pattern what we want to display. First we have to see the output or the pattern in which how many number of rows are present. So as we see first thing we have to identify the number of rows that are present in the pattern. So first thing that we have observed in this uh, pattern is there are total four rows. Next question is what is the pattern that we want to display. Here it is a uh, star pattern or sometimes it will be numbers or some alphabets or some other combination of these alphabets or patterns or some numbers. That is second question that we have to identify is what is the result that we or uh, what is the uh, final output what we want to display. Here it is nothing but the star and how many columns are exist here. That is in the first row there is only one star, in the second row there is two and in the third row there is three stars and in the fourth row there are four stars. So, we have identified two aspects that is there is a total four rows exist in a pattern and second thing we are supposed to print the pattern uh, uh, is star and in each row these are like first it will be one and next time it will be two, next time it will be three and next time it will be four. It is in a increasing order. So these two are the conclusion result what we obtained by analyzing the pattern. Now if we start coding how we can uh, proceed to write these uh, pattern as a output. First and foremost thing in the previous session in detail I have discussed what is meant by a nested loop. Here best option what we can choose is we can choose the nested for loop in order to perform this operation. So here we have to run with the two different uh, for loop. One for loop is to print the number of rows. First for loop we are using for loop to print the number of rows and the second for loop what we are using this is the first for loop what we are uh, writing and second for loop is used to displaying the content or which can also be referred as the column what it contains as a result. So anything that we want to display as a result that we have to write it in the second for loop that is the inner for loop. In the first for loop, that is first uh, outermost for loop, we are running to uh, display how many number of rows we need to uh, ex uh, exhibit in the final output. So we have concluded. Second thing is we want to for loop. With this basic analysis, let us move on to write the code how we can print this pattern. First and foremost thing here we are supposed to print the uh, star in the location. Here suppose if we draw this as a table this is how it looks like. If we convert it into a table uh, let me take two parameters to refer to follow. One uh, for loop with the 
i as a variable which refers to the rows and one more uh, for loop with the variable j which will be referred for printing the contents in the column so when i refer this i loop will be starting from 1 and it will be extending till 4 because i refers to number of rows here there are total 4 rows exist so it indicates that i where for loop i will begin with initializing 1 and the condition it need to check is it need to reach maximum of 4 in the sense i is less than or equal to 4 when i refers to the j which is used to display the content or uh, to represent to the columns what we refer here j is also beginning with the 1 and it extend till 4 as well but while referring to the display first time it need to begin with the 1 star second time it need to begin with the 2 next time it will be 3 next time it will be 4 so is there any relation between i and j now yes it is that is when i is having 1 j will also have the value 1 when i is having 2 j will also have 2 whereas when i is running with 3 value j will also have 3 so when i is having the value 4 j will also have the value 4 so which indicates indirectly we can connect this j loop with respect to i so that we can print the pattern in a much more easier way now if we look into the code here first we will be uh, beginning with uh, now let us uh, try to build the code with basic analysis of this pattern first we will be beginning with header file and then the main function and inside that i will be using two variables i and j to refer to rows and the columns or in other terms rows or how we are displaying the pattern so first for loop we are uh, running with uh, i which is beginning with 1 and it need to extend till 4 because we are running with 4 rows. So I have started the initial condition as 1 and maximum condition that I need to run this till less than or equal to 4. Parallelly we are incrementing the i value and this is what we refer as a outer loop which is used for printing the rows what we are referred in with respect to pattern now what is the inner loop here we have referred as j as a variable to run the inner loop j will be beginning with one and the condition here that we have to write is see for the first time when j value is one this pattern will be displaying only one time and when j is having the value two the two patterns need to be displayed when j value is 3 three patterns need to be displayed so as i mentioned previously what is the connection between this i and j is there any uh, relation between this yes so this for uh, second for loop j loop we have to run as the value of i that is j is less than or equal to i and then parallelly we have to increment the j value in the sense uh, here i value will be having 1 2 3 and 4 when the value of i is 1 it need to print 1 star when the value is 2 it need to print 2 star this work will be done under the j loop and when the value of this is i so when the value of i is 3 it need to print 3 stars this is how we have written the condition is j need to less than or equal to i when the i value is 4 which need to uh, run 4 stars what is the major uh, uh, here the second for loop we have written to display the content that is what we are printing here we are printing the 
star that we can simply write it in the printf statement the content that i want to display to the output screen is star that i have mentioned and next when it uh, prints one star after that the control need to come to the next line that we are represented by using slash n so that is what we have written uh, this uh, outer for loop is for displaying row first row is printed after that i need to come to the next row that we are referring by writing printf slash n in the outer for loop so this is how we can print the simple pattern with the star in with four different stars in a one particular format now if we analyze this code how it is uh, working we will begin i value with 1 with the i value 1 it will come inside the loop okay next with the i value 1 j is is equal to 1 here it will check whether 1 is less than or equal to i that is nothing but 1 yes the condition is true so it is going to print one star at the output that is in the intersection of i value 1 and j value 1 star is printed next the statement it is checking j value is getting incremented with the 2 it checks 2 is less than or equal to 1 no condition is false so it will execute the next statement that's why the control will be coming to the next line here the control will be more next uh, i value is getting incremented now i value will be 2 with the i value 2 j loop will be running j equal to 1 j is 1 is less than or equal to 2 condition is true so it will print the next star in the location i equal to 1 and j equal to 1 and next once again j is incremented now j value is 2 2 is less than or equal to 2 condition is true so second star is printed and next uh, after this uh here it will be j is incremented now the value of j is 3 3 is less than or equal to 2 condition is false that's why it will be printing the new line character so the control moves to the next line with next i value is getting incremented now i value will become 3 with the i value 3 it will once again run the inner loop by initializing j back to 1 and checks the condition One is less than or equal to three. Yes, condition is true, and it prints the star in the j equal to one location. This is printed, and next the once again it will increment the j loop. J will be two now. Two is less than or equal to three. Yes, condition is true. That's why the next star is printed. Once again, j is incremented. Now j value will be three. 3 is less than or equal to 3 condition is true so 3 is printed onto the output screen next step it is uh, j is incremented 4 it will be checked for uh, condition is false and it will print the new line character so the control will move from here to the next line next proceeding with i value equal to 4 uh, the for loop will run for four uh, four times now each time it will be printing star onto the output screen finally it will be uh, it will print the new line the cursor will be in this particular location now i value is getting incremented 5 it checks the condition 5 is less than or equal to 4 no the condition is false that's how it terminated this entire program Uh, I have discussed in detail how it will be processed to display this pattern in this manner. So, first and foremost, as a conclusion with respect to this pattern displays, first we have run the first for loop to represent the rows. That's why the condition is mentioned is i is less than or equal to four. In here, there are total four rows exist in a pattern. second conclusion point we have come across is we are run the second for loop beginning with value 1 and it will be keep incrementing based on the uh,
previous for loop. That's why we have started j with 1 and we have given the condition as j is less than or equal to i which is completely related to the previous loop. So, here uh, for printing purpose we have written the second for loop and major uh, printing what we are done is we are printing the star onto the output screen and finally we have written this uh, slash n to give a new line character after printing each rows. This is how this pattern is printed onto the output. Next we will proceed with the next pattern which looks almost similar to the previous pattern. This is complete uh, this pattern was reverse of the previous pattern what we have observed here. The pattern is beginning with the four stars and it will be keep decrementing in each row. Okay, here also some basic questions that we need to answer ourselves before proceeding with what we are supposed to build a code. First, here we have to run the first for loop with how many rows are there? Here also total 4 rows are there. So condition we are finalized as i is less than or equal to 4. Second option here is the j for loop we have to run to display the content or the pattern onto the output screen or we also refer it as a column display. So first it will be starting with 4 and 3, 2, 1. So what it indicates? Is it in any decrementing order it is working with? Yes, definitely. J will begin with 4 and it will be keep decrementing as the value of i changes. So, if we build the code here, how it will look like? Yes, we will uh, begin with the header file and main function and I will be using i and j variable to run two different for loop. First for loop is referred for displaying the rows. Here the condition mentioned is i is less than or equal to 4 which will begin from the first row to it need to reach till the fourth row. That's why beginning is 1 and maximum condition is 4. If it is there is more the number of rows then just we need to make the changes to this particular condition. That is i is less than or equal to 8 if I mention there will be total 8 rows will be displayed onto the output screen. So next condition here is the first we can observe there are total 4 stars are printing. So as I mentioned j will be beginning with the 4 now. And what is the condition? It will be running parallel to i initially when j value is equivalent to 4 which need to display 4 different rows. And i value will be greater than or equal to 1. Why it is mentioned greater than or equal to 1? Here the j value is equivalent to 4 and uh, greater than or equal to i. So four different values we have to print that is four patterns we have to display and j will be keep decrementing each time. One just uh, we can make a note whenever there is uh, less than or equal to we normally prefer increment operator when it is greater than or equal to there will be normally we write decrement operator. That is, uh, we have started with the highest value. We will be keep decrementing that value. As we see here, the displaying is first of all 3, 2, 1. That's why we have decremented this J value. And is it connected with I? Yes, definitely. Because here uh, when I value is equivalent to 1, it will be printing 4 times. When I value is equivalent to when i value equivalent to 4, it prints 4 times. When i value is 2, it need to print 3 times. When i value is 3, it need to print 2 times. And i value is equivalent to 4. That is fourth time when for loop is running, the j or the, this pattern need to be printed only one time. So, this is the condition that we are checking is j is greater than or equal to i. Next, what is the major content that we want to display. Anyhow that will be, we will be mentioning in the inner for loop. Here also we are printing the star pattern. That's why we have mentioned with the printf statement. And 
after that printing we have to give a new line character and so if we analyze this code in detail how the execution will proceed first i with the i value one this outer for loop will begin next after this uh, condition is uh, true uh, okay j value will be set with the value 4 because in the very beginning we want to print four patterns j value with the four and uh, here it checks the condition whether four is less than or equal to one condition is true so that's why the first pattern is printed now j is getting decremented j value is three now three is greater than or equal to one condition is true next the second pattern is printed now after that once again the j value decremented 2 it is equivalent to yes so the, when the j value 2 the next pattern will be printed and when j becomes 1 and uh, uh, yes condition is true 1 is greater than or equal to 1 and the next pattern will be printed. This is how with i value 1 that refers to first row the all the four patterns are printed that is inner for loop is totally uh, executed for four times next after that the new line will be displayed when i value with once again the outer for loop will uh, run with the i value 2 and it will execute these pattern three times uh, this for loop will be executed for three times and the pattern will be displayed in three different location with j values. This is how each time there's a pattern display will be keep decrementing. So as a conclusion point here, two aspects that we have observed here is first thing we have to run the first outer loop for four times because there is Total four rows exist and which will be beginning with one and which will be extending till four and it will be keep incrementing each time. When we refer to the second for loop which will be beginning with uh, here the beginning condition is one and it will be maximum condition is four. Whereas uh, here it will be beginning with the four and uh, max value that is when the it is completely connected to the i value. When i is running four times, it will print four times. When i is running three, it will print three stars. That is the condition that we have checked here is j should be greater than or equal to i. And uh, one conclusion remark I can uh, mention with respect to this pattern is here we have if we are using greater than or equal to then we normally use decrement operator. This is how we can print this pattern. Next moving to the next pattern. This is the pattern how we want to display onto the output screen. Is it anyhow it is connected to the previous pattern that we have discussed? Yes, definitely. It is a combination of the patterns that we have discussed previously. This is the one pattern we have discussed now. And this is the second part, pattern that we have discussed. So, this is how uh, the output need to be displayed. That is the combination of the pattern what we have discussed as a first pattern and the second pattern. The code is uh, very simple. We just need to combine the two programs what we have come across. Here, if we look into, uh, it indicates clearly that the loop is getting incremented till 4 by starting with 1. So, condition is i equal to 1 less than or equal to 4. And what is the one more condition with the four, uh, j loop inside inner loop which will begin with 1, 2, 3 like that. It will be keep incrementing. So, we have to start with 1 and it will be 2, 3 like that. So, it is less than or equal to i condition is we have mentioned and j will be incremented. And the pattern need to be printed is star. This is how what uh, we can write the code to print this part of the code. Next, we will write the second uh, code what we have come across now to print the second part of the output. So, here it will begin with i value uh, 
uh, well there are total uh, four different uh, rows and I will be beginning with the one and it need to ex uh, extend till four. We will use, uh, let us fix the first for loop, fix it and we will make the changes to the second for loop. First it will begin with four and next three to one. So it us keep decrementing. So we have used decrement operation and we have to uh, loop according to the I value. So we have connected to the uh, condition with it need to proceed with the I loop. This is how we can combine the two uh, codes together and we can uh, run a new pattern. Next, proceeding to the next concept. Here, suppose if some patterns contain some space in between, uh, then we can uh, write some. First, here uh, we are displaying some uh, spaces. After that, we are printing some patterns. How we can do that? Here we will be coming across three aspects. So major three aspects we have to look into. First we have to display rows and then something we have to display as a space and then actual content need to be displayed. Rows we have to print either uh, it can be fixed or can be evaluated by the user. Then we have to display the space uh, which is printed like a pyramid shape since the pattern is printed in the middle. Next we have to display the data or uh, the pattern what we want to print in a specific location where we want to be printed. So which indicates that we are coming across three different aspects. So we have to run three different for loop. First for loop is used for rows which uh, first for loop need to run based on the number of lines need to be printed onto the output screen and uh, by providing the space as well. Second for loop is run for mentioning the space. In the beginning of the space was more and next it need to keep decrementing. So second for loop is responsible for mentioning the space. Third for loop is used for displaying the actual content what we want to display as a pattern which can be some numbers or some pattern or some character based on the type of the pattern we have to run this loop so here uh, one major concept when there is some pattern which are uh, given will contain some space in the beginning after that if the pattern is getting displayed in such case which indirectly say that we need to run three different for loop. So first one to run how many number of rows we want to print and how we need to display the space that is in the pattern and what is the content we need to display. So three for loops we are using first one for rows and second one for displaying the space and third one for displaying the actual content. Now let us look into the pattern. Uh, how we can write the code to display this pattern. So in the very beginning here we are running across three spaces. After that we want to print the pattern, one pattern. Next we will be running two space. After that we want to display two patterns, two stars. And next we will be having only one uh, space and three patterns will be three stars will be displayed now if we we'll look into this as i as we uh, discuss we will be running three for loops so i will be using three different variables i refers to rows uh, for loop j refers to uh, space uh, for loop and d refers for displaying the contents so first and foremost thing, this will remain as it is rows as we observe here there are total 4 rows. So I will be beginning with 1 and it need to extend maximum 4 less than or equal to 4. And next this is the first outermost loop and next to for loop will be completely dedicated for displaying the space. So when i value is equivalent to 1. So how many uh, how many uh, space we could make out here? There are total three spaces present. So 
j loop will begin with value 3 and a maximum how long it need to extend j should be greater than or equal to i so maximum till i value equal to 1 it need to keep printing this spaces and j will be keep decrementing each time the major uh, content or uh, display operation here is we have to display the space that's why the printf statement we have just given the space next for loop is majorly used for displaying the content in the uh, after yes we have printed the space and next aspect is we have to print the pattern so uh, next to follow d will be beginning with the value 1 and this needs to extend till less than or equal to i and that is in the sense first we, it will be printing 1 star next to 2, 3, 4 it is like a incrementing order so it is directly proportional to i value that's why we have given the condition is d is less than or equal to i as we discussed in the previous pattern so, what is the major uh, content that we have to display? That is, we are printing the star. This display, what we want to uh, uh, give it to output screen will be written in the third for loop. And finally, in the first for loop, we are uh, providing the new line. That's why we have written it in the uh, first outermost for loop. And we will be terminating the code. Now, if we analyze this code uh, step by step, when the i value is equivalent to 1, this first for loop is executed with value 1, j will be set with value 3, okay. So, j will begin with the value 3 and uh, then it will be printing the actual space in the j3 is greater than or equal to i, yes. In the third location, it will be printing the, here it need not to start with the 4 itself, it will be beginning with 3, 2, 1 and 0 we can mention. So, in the third location, it will be printing this dash and the normal, uh, and next j uh, is equivalent to 3, 3 is greater than or equal to 1, condition is true, it has printed this first dash and next the j is getting decremented. Now it is reached to here. Uh, let me refer it as a 3, 2, 1 and 0. So that it will be much more easier to refer. So since we have started the j loop from 3 onwards rather than 4. So here next one is uh, it is going to print space is printed 1 space. Next j is decremented. Now j value is 2. And it checks the condition 2 is greater than or equal to 1. Condition is true. So it prints a second space. Next day is decremented once again j. 1 it is. 1 is greater than or equal to 1. Yes, condition is true. And now printed dash. Now our cursor is in the work. In this uh, current location. Next. The next for loop will be printed with the value d equal to 1. And D is less than or equal to I. So, D will be pointing to this particular location here with the value 1. Here we have written as 3, 2, 1, right? So, D will be pointing to in this particular location. Uh, so, and then after that, D checks D is less than or equal to I. Yes, condition is true. In the first location, it uh, we have already printed. So, D will be next printf and star will be printed onto the next location. This is how it will be printing the star. So, if we refer uh, next to the new line will be displayed after this. So, next it will be running with the i value equal to 2. So, same way first it will be now j value will be equivalent to 3. 3 but i value will be 2. So, from 3 onwards it will be printing 2 dashes here. After that the cursor will be uh, waiting here and d will be located to 1 once again and it will be checking uh, in this particular location first where the value 
one it will be displayed the star and d is less than or equal to i condition is true so here it will next star will be printed so next uh, the d value will be keep changing so here uh, it will be first it will be pointing to here next it will be here and next it will be here like this it will be keep changing the d location and it will be printing that star in that particular location this is how we can uh, print the pattern in this manner so here as a conclusion remark for this uh, pattern we will be coming across three aspects that is if we see first here some space is there uh, while printing the content first thing that we have to uh, consider is we have to run three different loops one is for printing rows and second one to print the space and next to uh, display the actual content rows here it is there are total four rows that's why we are running this uh, first loop for four times next the uh, space is beginning from the third lo location onwards when we display the output so we are uh, running j with the three and it will be uh, working similar with respect to i value and uh, with respect to d d we will be beginning with the uh, uh, one and it will be parallelly working it will be keep decrementing as we run with our loop so first time it will be printing star next it will print the two star as the value of i so here d will be one first time next one and two it will be and first time d will be pointing here next it will be one and two so first sorry here compared to this the d will be first time it will be pointing to here so the first star is printed next the two stars will be going to print it this is how this loop will be executed next proceeding with the next pattern which looks uh, almost similar to the previous pattern only one change here is after displaying the star it will be printing the space as well see here it is printed the star after that we could observe the space is also printed so here also the pattern is printed after that it is enclosed with the space how we can perform this with the same previous code we can work with slight changes in one single statement so how we can proceed with the same program i have referred what we have checked previously to display the pattern here it will be beginning with one and uh, j uh, will space will start from four onwards that is uh, in the beginning there will be four spaces this uh, uh, this is completely related that is if uh, this uh, space will be one less than the number of rows uh, usually it will begin with like that it will be keep decrementing as we proceed further so first it is printed the space next one major change what we are observing here is in the printing of the pattern after printing the star we have provided the space in the sense it has displayed the pattern after that it will leave one space and next it will be moving to the next line so if we uh, run with one particular uh, iteration with the d value one it checks one is less than or equal to two for example i value it will be printing the first star along with that we have appended the space as well that's why the space is printed next the d will be incremented now 2 is less than or equal to 2 condition is true so it is printing the star along with that it will provide the space as well with this simple change in the previous code we can uh, result with the new pyramid kind of pattern with the providing the space this is how uh, we can uh, implement this code by changing the simple logic in the previous code now suppose if we want to print this uh, pattern what we have previously checked that is first it will display the sp uh, spaces and after that we are printing the pattern suppose if the user is want to give some rows as an input in this example user has entered as five suppose if we want to give it as a eight ten or three it is uh, keep changing 
in such case how we can uh, write the code same logic i will be using with the three different loops first for loop is used for displaying the row second one for displaying the space and third one to display the actual content so how we can work with so uh, here i will be just using some different uh, variable names that's it so first i will be taking one more variable here as a number which refers how many numbers that need to be displayed on the screen i will be storing it in the variable called as number and here uh, previous whatever the pattern that we have discussed uh, we were uh, mentioning this condition depending on the num number of rows we want to display now uh, we will be taking that number of rows from the user that's why instead of mentioning the number we will be specify the variable name so it will be keep changing depending on the user given input so we have referred the first uh, for loop for representing row and second one we are running for displaying this space here small change that we have uh, used here since we have generalized the code to print for uh, any user given number of rows so here i will be starting this uh, space loop with the one and how long we have to run this that is number minus r that is uh, as we have observed in the previous example if there is uh, four different rows then in the very beginning it need to print three spaces same way here suppose if the number is 5 then 5 minus r 5 Minus R will be one, so it will be the space it need to provide is four, which works similar to the previous concept, but we have generalized with the one uh, major logic is the space is always uh, one less than the number. When it uh, comes with the next iteration, here R will be two, so five minus two it will be. so the number of uh, space it provides is 3 so for the first time it will provide the space as 4 it will be keep decrementing as the uh, next iteration so it will be 4 next it will be 3 so next r loop will be running with the 2 uh, sorry 5 uh, minus 2 it will be and next it will be 5 minus 3 so it will be running with the value 2 so it will be printing two spaces uh, then here it will be next uh, statement next uh, loop is uh, used to print the pattern onto the output screen here uh, the pattern that we are printing is a star pattern so this is how we can uh, write the code to generalize for any given number of rows here the user will explicitly mention for how many number of rows then the first we will uh, fix the first for loop for the give user given number it should run till that and then we will provide the space and next we will be displaying the actual content here is also it is connected with p is less than or equal to r because r will be running for the first time one next it will be running two times Three times like that. So the same way, the pattern need to be displayed. This is how we can generalize the code. The same uh, previous program. Uh, if we have generalized one simple change, what we have to make is as we discussed uh, previously is we have to provide the space when we are displaying the pattern. So we are uh, displaying the pattern in the third for loop after printing the star. We are uh, Printing the space along with that. So how it looks? We have printed the star here. After that, we have provided one space, and then we are closing the printf statement. This is the one small change will help in displaying the pattern like this. So here first we will get the output statement as enter the number of rows. Suppose if the user has entered three. then how will be the output so only these much will be the output first star will be printed next star will be printed and then space will be provided then star will be provided uh, will be printed then space after that in the third iteration 
three stars will be uh, printed along with the space. So here one major condition that we have uh, referred is the space will be directly proportional to the number of rows it is need to print it. Number minus R. Suppose if we want to print three rows then the first it will provide in the beginning two spaces, next one space and then next time uh, for the third iteration there is no space. This is how we have to build the code. Next we will see one more uh, star pattern which is the reverse of what we have discussed previously. This is how we were discussed. Now just it is uh, first it will provide the space here also. After that the pattern will be moving as first it will be 4 then it will be 3, 2, 1. It will be keep decrementing. So how we can build the code? Here also I loop we need to first a few questions we have to keep uh, uh, answering what will be the uh, answer for those questions so that we will write the condition and how we have to run the for loop. First thing, first for loop we will be running from 1 to 4. Yes, we will be, uh, there are total 4 rows existence. Second for loop we will be, uh, need to provide for the space. Now one small change here. First there is no space. First then after that one space, two space and three space. So what it indicates, the space will be starting from 1 onwards and then it will be keep printing. So J will begin with the 1 and then it will be keep decrementing in this case. Now after that, uh, here with the next statement we are trying to display the content. The actual content that we want to display is first it will uh, print the 4 stars next 3 2 and 1. So, our D loop or the display loop will begin with initialized condition as 4 and then it will be keep processing with respect to I loop. First it will print 4, next it will be 3, 2, 1. So, as we have discussed previously, we have connected with the uh, same condition. So, we have written greater than or equal to I D minus minus. Now, if we look into the how it uh, process with the simple example, I will be one with, it will be moving inside the inner loop with the J value 1, with J value 1, it uh, provides the space, okay. First, uh, J will be equivalent to 1, 1 is less than or equal to 1, condition is true. So, it provided the uh, space in the very beginning. Next, after that, it will be printing with the D value. Here, it initially, first it will be printed the space here. Next, it will be printing the uh, the fourth location. D equal to D will be pointing to this particular location. We have started with printing D from this. And the D maximum till be running till I. That is, I equal to one. So, first star will be printed, next, third and fourth star. Uh, and then it will be moving to the next line. When we refer this uh, I value, this is the first uh, uh, iteration. Next with the I value 2, the same process will uh, perform. Now, uh, J will be 1. J is less than or equal to I value. So, what is that? I value here is now so, this loop uh, space will be printed two times. One will be here and one more will be starting from here. So, two uh, spaces will be printed. When it comes to the next time, it will be printing three spaces. One will be here and like this. So, uh, J, maximum J will be 4. 4 is less than or equal to 4. Condition is true. So, total 4 spaces will be provided and then the star will be printed. This is how we can uh, give the space and then we can run it. And we can also generalize as we have seen in the previous code this same pattern as well. One small change to the previous code. If we do, then we will be ending this uh, reverse uh, pattern display 
by providing the space. If we compare with the previous code, what are the two major changes that we have observed in this? First thing here is we are uh, total i first for loop will remain as it is. With the second for loop, we will be running from 1 to till i. As i it changes, this uh, uh, space will be keep changing. And second, uh, one more condition that we are running is first we have to begin this d from printing 4 and then 3, 2, 1 like that. It is keep decrementing. Same logic holds good for printing this as well by appending space when we are printing the pattern. Here we have begin with i equal to 5 and uh, we have started with the j equal to uh, 4 and then it will be uh, here it will be keep decrementing and it will be printed. So this by providing the space. Next one more if we are generalizing this how this pattern need to be printed. First we will be taking the number of rows. Yes we have taken the rows and then the major condition with respect to space. Here the space is equivalent to number. Say for example the number is given as a 5. Then space need to begin with 5 here. And then space is greater than or equal to r. What is that r value? r is nothing but 5. So uh, in the fifth location it is going to provide the space. And then space minus minus. Then the first fifth location it is provided. Now space will be equivalent to 4. Whether 4 is greater than or equal to 5, no condition is false. So it will be moving to the next iteration. So only in the fifth location, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in this particular uh, space will be provided in the very beginning. And then the first star will be displayed. How the star uh, processing? It will begin with the 1 and it will be keep incrementing. So, star will uh, display with the 1 and it will be less than or equal to R. Uh, this is how we can uh, build the code to display the uh, logic for this particular loop. And uh, if we run the next pattern, if we, uh, we can make any changes with respect to any of this, uh, we can, uh, here the next pattern that we want to display is 1, next to 2 star, 3 star, 4 stars and 5 stars will be displayed. So how it will be working? So one question here asked is, what is the condition we have to specify? This, as we discussed, first for loop is responsible for displaying the rows. So how many rows are there here? Total 5 rows will be present. So i is less than or equal to 5. And here, as we observe here, when i value is equivalent to 1, 1 star will be printed. When i value is equivalent to 2, 2 stars will be printed. i value is equivalent to 3, then 3 stars will be printed. So, is it J second printing is somewhere connected to I? Yes. So, we have to write the condition is J is less than or equal to I. For the first time, it will be printing one star, second time two, three like that as the uh, I values. Uh, first for loop value, the second for loop will be keep running. This is how we can write the condition uh, for this particular pattern display. Next we'll see how we can uh, print the number patterns. What is this number pattern? Suppose uh, in the previous session we have discussed to display the stars. Now uh, the patterns will be looking like this. We want to display some numbers as 1, 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3. How the code can be written? Is there any connectivity to the previous code what we have discussed? Yes. Only small change that we need to do is how we are displaying the content. In the previous thing we have displayed uh, the star 
now we have to display the value rather than that printing star here also same logic will hold goods first we will be checking how many number of rows are there there are total three rows are there so first of all loop will be running starting from 1 to 3 uh, beginning with i value 1 and condition is less than or equal to 3 and next loop is used for displaying the content so for the first time the value 1 will be printed next two values are printed for the next iteration three values are printed so is it connected with the i loop yes similar to as we discussed with the previous concept j will begin with one so j is less than or equal to i and j will be incremented now the major question here is pattern that we want to display is number rather than the start pattern so how we will uh, run that how we will display that pattern with the i value one suppose if we proceed with the uh, iteration how it will be work j with the value j one it will be j is less than one is less than or equal to one condition is true so first now one will be referred next i value will be j suppose if it is true 2 is less than or equal to 1 condition is false now with the value 2 once again this i loop will be with the i value 2 this j loop will be running now j will be set to 1 first and uh, j 1 is less than or equal to 2 condition is true so j is running with the 1 and once again j value will be incremented and now j value will be 2. Now it checks whether 2 is less than or equal to 2. Yes, condition is true. And uh, next, once again say for example, this uh, for loop will be running with value 3. Now j will be equal to 1. 3 is less than or equal to i. Condition is true. So j is uh, working with first with the value 1. Next, after this j is incremented, now j value will be 2 and the next j, uh, once again, it checks the condition, j is incremented and checks the condition 3 is less than or equal to 3, condition is true. So, this inner loop will be running till 3, uh, 1, 2, 3 depending on the i value. So, what we have observed here is, inner loop j loop will be processed with the j value first time as 1 next time j will have the two values 1 and 2 and for the third iteration it will have 1 2 3 is it somewhere it is connected to the given pattern yes so what is the next statement we want to display that is just if we print the j value it will generate this corresponding pattern so here is with the j iteration we are uh, trying to display the j value first time it will be value 1 for the next with the i value 2 it will print 1 and 2 with i value 3 it will print 1 2 and 3 this is how we can print the simple pattern with numbers as a final or pattern as a display 1 1 2 and 1 2 3 and along with that we want to display the new line as well that that is how we will be processed it will be attached with the outer for loop so after this we have to provide the slash n so that each time after printing one the cursor will be moved to the next line this is how we can print the pattern by using this to follow. If you look into the next example, slight variation to the previous code. Here first 1 will be printed, next 2, 2 will be printed, 3, 3 times and 4, 4 times. So how we can make the changes to the previous code? Here the loop need to execute for Four times so condition we specified is i is less than or equal to 4 and uh, j we started with 1 
and how long how it need to proceed with it will be first time one and next uh, two times it need to run and three times four times like that so we have connected this j condition with i and what we are supposed to print if you observe now here with the i value one it will be coming and uh, with the j value one it will be processing and uh, what if we bring the i value here inside first time it will print one next time uh, with the i value two it will come inside the j loop and uh, j will be initialized with the one and uh, j is less than or equal to i yes condition is true and now also it prints the value of i so what is the i value now we have started with i value as 2 is it over no the i is now 2 so once again this loop will execute now j value is 2 and checks the condition 2 is less than or equal to 2 condition is true so once again it will print the value as 2 and next the j value will increment 3 3 is not less than or equal to 2 condition false it will come out of that and it will be moving to the next line by the execution of this printf slash n line next uh, with the value 3 how many number of times this inner loop will execute it will run with 3 times so it is going to print 3 onto output screen 3 times this is how by printing the value of i we will be ending up with this pattern first time it will print one second time two three and four depending on the running of i loop next proceeding with the next pattern here the pattern is rather than uh, repeating here there is something as continuous numbers we want to display First it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It will be in a incremental order. How we can proceed? One major hint it gives is we need to increment the value of some number. So how we can work with that? First one more uh, add on to the current uh, code what we have discussed is we will take one variable as num n uh, with the initialized value as 1. So, for the first iteration, we want to print the value of n and then it need to print from 2 onwards. What it indicates? It is nothing but we have to increment this n value. How we can do that? That we can simply do by using n plus plus inside the loop. So, it will print 2 and also it will print 3. So, where we have to write this n plus plus, in, in which loop we have to write it, it is important. We have to write that in the inner loop. So, that first time it will print one time, next time it will print two and third time it will print three values. So, if we proceed with the code, the major first loop is uh, running for displaying the Row. So, total number of rows here are 5 rows. We have written the condition i less than or equal to 5. And next, the major loop for displaying the actual content onto the output screen. J will begin with 1 and it will be since in each iteration, 1 by 1 the number is keep incrementing. So, I have written the condition j is less than or equal to i j plus plus and the major output that we want to display is n rather than i or j value we want the incremented value each time so i will begin with n and here along with this i have attached the space so that with the space this output will be printed first time n will be printed with the value 1 next n will be incremented what is the n value now it will be 2 is it it is working once again no for the first time this uh, inner loop will work only one time with the i value as one next it will be printing the new line so the cursor is in this location when it run for the second time first it will print the value two and n will be incremented now n value will be three so once again this loop will be executed now the 3 will be printed onto the output screen and uh, next the n value will be 4. 
but uh, for the second equation j uh, loop will be terminated and i value need to be incremented and then it will be proceeded this is how we can print the continuous uh, values onto the output screen by using simple one extra variable by initializing with value one same way this uh, pattern can be reversed by making the uh, usage of logic what we have discussed in the previous uh, concept so we will begin with the 15 and then we can make that suppose if we change this n1 n plus plus location what will happen what is the result and suppose instead of writing this n plus plus here we will be writing this n plus plus outside this here suppose what will happen what is the resulting output what we can see first it will be printing 1 yes it has uh, terminated and now n value will be incremented so n value will be 2 so here when it comes to the next iteration it will be printing the n value which was already set as 2. So it will be printing 2 times because this uh, inner for loop will run for along with i value. i will be set with the 2 when it is uh, running for the second time. So n will be incremented once again by this statement which was written outside the inner for loop. So for the third time it will print 3 3 3 so this is how it will be keep changing for the fourth time it will print 4 4 4 like this this is one more way how we can print this pattern by using this concept which we uh, already discussed by some other aspect now suppose if we are uh, using some decrement operator inside the for loop how we can uh, design the pattern what we have discussed previously is it possible to use some decrement operator yes definitely suppose if i want to print this pattern which we have already discussed previously first we will begin with one star two star and three star so how we can proceed by using the decrement operators in this uh, for loop so here as i mentioned we need to use the decrement operator so our control will be pointing to the last location so after that we will be keep proceeding with the one by one so i will be initialized to three and i is greater than or equal to one in the sense uh, maximum it need to run till one and i will be keep decrementing and next what is the major thing we have to display with the j value equivalent, j will be pointing here with the value 3, j will be keep running till the i value and j will be keep decrementing. What we want to print with the j value 3, it need to print the star. So, how many number of times it will be incremented, uh, it will be printed with the j value 3, uh, j will be 3 and uh, like greater than or equal to 3 condition is true and the star will be printed one time for the first time and then uh, j value will be decremented now it checks whether 2 is greater than or equal to 3 the condition is false here one rather than mentioning the control to point here and there we have change the way how it is displaying the index value see here it will be 3 2 and 1 same way here also it will be j values will also be 3 2 and 1 so first in the third particular location we are trying to print the star rather than pointing to the last location as i mentioned this will be much more easier to analyze the concept and then finally we will be printing the new line after printing this star to the output screen this is how we can uh, use the logic to write this particular code so we will be starting with 3 and we will be using how long we have to reach till it reaches 1 and i will be keep decrementing and here the maximum number of rows we will be writing here how long it need to proceed and here we will be beginning with uh, how the pattern need to be displayed which will be mutually 
connected. So J will be starting with 3 and J is greater than or equal to I. This is how we can write the code. If we one more way what we can make the changes like change here is we can rather than writing this uh, way here we will we can also write in the instead of writing j equal to 3 we can write j equal to i which is also nothing but j equal to 3 and we will be running j is less than or equal to 3 3 is nothing but i value this is also allowed here it will be using the combination of decrement and increment operator and one more condition what we can also write to perform this same operation is we will be beginning i value with 1 and uh, how long we will be proceeding till 3 i plus plus whereas in the inner loop we will start with j equal to i and j will be extended till 1. So any uh, this is a combination of both increment and decrement operator in different aspects we can uh, try to execute the same kind of pattern just we have to uh, play with the for loop next pattern is 1 2 and uh, 1 2 2 and 3 how we can run this uh, pattern by using the decrement operator we have already checked this code how we can perform by using increment operator. Now here I have started with 1 and I will be running till 3. Whereas in the inner loop I will be running the decrement operator. So it will be beginning with i and j will run till 1. This is connected here. This is how and then j will be keep decrementing. And we are trying to print the value of i. That's why. It will be keep uh, repeating the same numbers. 1 and second time it will be 2, 2 and third time it will be 3, 3. Same code suppose if we try to uh, like slight change with the same uh, code. Suppose if we try to print the value of i here. How we can proceed with? We have taken the larger uh, i value which will uh, we will be running from i value here. Just a opposite of uh, what we have discussed. I will be beginning with the 5 and it need to extend till 1. And J also will begin with 5 and it need to extend 1. And what we are printing in the location I equal to 5 and J equal to 5. We will be printing the 5. That is what we have written with I value. And for the next iteration I will be now decrementing. So I will be 4. And uh, J will be beginning with the 5. J is less than or equal to uh, in the fifth location of J. We are printing I value that is nothing but 4. And J once again it is decremented. Now J is 4. In that same fourth location also we are trying to print the I value that is 4. Next we are printing the new line. After that this I loop is going to execute once again with the I value is 3. 3 with the 3 value it is going to print this uh, i value 3 times in the location 5, 4 and j. This is how this is one slight change what we have done is instead of using the increment operators we have changed the condition as well as finally we have used the decrement operator. One more pattern we want to display is first I want to display 5 then 5, 4 then 5, 4, 3 like that it is keep changing. So how we can use, is it any ways we can use the decrement operator? Yes. The same code what we have referred previously, this will, suppose if we try to print the value of j instead of i, here we will be ending up with this pattern. How it will work? First i will be 5, in this it is previous code we have, we were trying to print the I value which is also J's value as well. And next we have printed the previous code. We were trying to print the I value. This was 4 and 4. Now we are printing the J value. So what is that J value in this case here is 5 and 4. That is what we have printed onto the output screen. Next we are printing the J. Uh, once again the values are uh, 5, 4 and this is what we have printed 5, 4 and 3 onto the output screen. The change what we have done is 
instead of printing i in the previous code we are now trying to print the j value so now the j how the loops are executed first first it will be executed with 5 and next 5 4 and 5 4 3 with the values and next 5 4 3 2 like this how the j value is changing that we are going to print as a pattern to the output screen this is how we can uh, sm make some small change in the previous code to obtain that pattern. Now moving to the next pattern. Here I want to begin with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the very beginning with the i value as 5 and it will be keep decrementing and j will be keep incrementing. So how we can write the code? So for loop will be running from maximum I will be if we sub since uh, we are uh, using making use of uh, here uh, decrement operator as an example we have already checked this code how we can uh, write the code by using increment operator suppose if we use decrement operator in the first for loop we will be need to begin with the five and we have to decrement the i value so that uh, number of times it is displaying is keep decrementing. So first time it is printing 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 like that. So that's why we have made the changes to the first for loop. Next, uh, J loop will be uh, connected with the 1 and it will be uh, less than or equal to I which is running in parallel with the first for loop. And the pattern that we want to print is the content of j value what is that first it will be first uh, first time this i will be running five times uh, i with the i value as uh, five this j loop will be running for five times five is less than or equal to one so with the five it will be i value equal to five in the jth location it will print the one and then chan j will be incremented now j value will be 2 2 is less than or equal to 5 condition is true so in the second location so it will be printing the value of j it is true like that it will be keep printing 1 2 3 4 5 that is the value of this j value it will be printed onto the output screen and then parallelly after that it will be moving the cursor to the next time and with the uh, i value as 4, this inner loop will be executing 4 times. j with value 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is how we can uh, write this code to implement this pattern. Next, we will uh, see how we can print the alphabet. What is that alphabet? What we see it as a to z, uh, this can also be print as a pattern. So, American standard code for information interchange that we refer normally as a ASCII. Each characters from uh, English will be uh, use the corresponding values. This will be given by uh, ASCII that we call it as a ASCII code which is given by this uh, uh, American standard code for information interchange. So, A to Z what we refer as a capital letter A to Z will have the ASCII values ranging from 65 to 90. So, if you want to refer to the integer value of this uh, A to Z the character, then it is from 65 to 90. If it is a small letter A to Z, if it is a uh, small letter uppercase is mentioned like this, small uh, lower case a to z is ranging from 97 to 122 this values we should be be clear about so that uh, it is easy to work with uh, printing the patterns so this is uh, how uh, the ascii values will be ranged for the capital letters and for the lower case letter now we'll see how we can print the pattern a a, B, A, B, C like this onto the output screen. Output screen. With the same two for loop here also we are playing with. First for loop is used for displaying the rows. Second for loop is 
completely dedicated for displaying the content. Now one small change what we observe here is this is rather than number or uh, pattern it is a character. So the content that we want to print is a character. So format what we use is percentage C. And uh, here we will use one initialization condition. We will use ch as a one variable which I have set it as a a because this is a pattern which I need to begin with. And next I will uh, run this loop till 5 since uh, there are total 5 rows. And second for loop is exclusively used for printing the content. And as we observe it is uh, connected to the first uh, i loop for loop. Because the first time it will print one character in a row, second time two character in a row, three, four, five. So it is a condition we can uh, write as J is less than or equal to I. Next, the major content what we want to print will be written in this particular location. So what we have to print, we are trying to display the character A onto the output screen. That we can perform by using a printf statement with the format specifier as percentage C since it is a character and CH is a content we want to display. Okay, now in this particular location A is printed. Next operation is the cursor need to move on to the next line. That is what we have done with this uh, next line. Now, one more option is here with this A. It, uh, next statement, what is the next character it need to print is B for the next iteration. So, we have to make the increment of this character. So, when if suppose if we are writing CH++, what it indicates is corresponding ASCII value is 65. Uh, it will be get converted uh, when we refer, when the code is getting uh, compiled, this A will be uh, referred by using the ASCII value. When I refer CH++, the 65 ASCII value will be changed to 66, which indicates nothing but the character B. So, this is how with the statement CH++, B will be referring to the next character. One more thing here is, yes, if we have increased with the CH++, our next loop will begin with the B value. That we don't want. Each time this uh, pattern need to begin from A itself. So, what we have to do after printing, uh, this, uh, after incrementing, then we have to set the CH back onto the a so that when it prints for the next iteration it will start from a character only after that we are printing the new line character if we work with how it is going to be executed if we look into the character will begin with a first it is set with i value 1 it will come inside and uh, j1 is less than or equal to i condition is true now, for the output screen, first A is printed. Next, uh, CH is incremented. Now, uh, CH value is B. But, after coming out of this loop, CH is once again set with the value A. Now, CH is A itself. Next line, new line will be printed. So, our cursor moved to the next line. Now, with the I value, 1 is over. Now, with the I value 2, it is going to uh, execute. J is uh, 1 is less than or equal to 2, condition true. Now, it prints this CH value. Since we have reset this CH value back to A, it will be printing A for the first time. Next, CH will be incremented and uh, uh, CH will be now B. Now we check the condition is true uh, with the, by incrementing j value 2 condition is true. Once again it will be printing the value which is there in b. Now it is nothing but b. And uh, now once again this h will be incremented. Now it will be c. But uh, after that uh, j will be incremented to 3. 3 is less than or equal to 2. Condition is false. So it will come out of the 
in the for loop and the ch will be set back to a so that when we execute for the next iteration it will be beginning with a itself this is a small change what we have to make to the code so that each time we can begin from starting letter a itself and new line will be printed so in the next iteration uh, with the uh, character starting from a b and c will be printed how long it will be printed till i value is less than or equal to 5 in the sense 5 rows will be printed this is how we can print the pattern as a conclusion remark with respect to this pattern is we have to uh, we have set one variable uh, with the initial character value and then we will be running the first for loop to how many number of lines we want to print and second for loop is mainly dedicated for displaying the content and uh, uh, depending on how many number of uh, patterns are displayed in each loop we have written the condition j is less than or equal to i and we are printing the content is actual ch value and since we want the uh, next character to be printed we have used a ch plus plus and uh, one more point here we in each iteration we have to begin from a character itself so we have reset the ch value to a itself these are the three major aspects we have to uh, remember with respect to this pattern display when we look into the next pattern uh, here we are trying to display continuous pattern what is a small change we can do it with the previous code here uh, the ch will begin with the a itself and it will be running till 5 condition is same and the j loop will begin with 1 and uh, here also in each line there will be 1 2 like that so which will be keep running along with the i value and what is the ch it need to display ch will be displayed and is it necessary to increment yes incrementation is required now my next question is is it necessary to reset the ch value no because we are not going to start the next uh, line with a itself that's why we have not reset this ch value by just writing this much code we could able to run this uh, pattern by continuous uh, increment of a each character suppose if we want to run the same pattern with a small letter a what we can do here we just need to set initially as a then there is no change apart from this when we change the ch uh, plus plus a's corresponding integer ascii value that is nothing but 90 7 will become 98 so that it refers to the next character that is nothing but small letter b this is uh, a will be referred with the 97 with the small letter a this is how we can change to uh, uppercase or lowercase same pattern small change to the current existing pattern we have to print first a then b b then c c what is the major change we have to do it here one major option what it looks like is we are not changing or incrementing the value inside the loop we, rather than that we will be incrementing the uh, character value outside the innermost loop so how it will be first time it will be printing a next it will be printing the value b so with the i value equal to 1 the character what it was already ch plus plus is incremented so the ch value is now b so b will be printed twice after that ch is incremented now ch value will be equivalent to c now with this c value once again this loop will be inner loop will be executed for three times so c c c will be printed onto the output screen and parallelly we will be adding the new line character along with the outermost loop this is how we can print the uh, alphabet pattern this is simple examples what we have ex uh, I, what i have discussed with the printing the pattern uh, the same concept which uh, can be applicable to print the complex patterns as well 
how we can print the patterns with spaces. Now we'll look into some patterns which will be looking like a pyramid which we have already discussed with the printing the uh, star as a pyramid symbol. Now how we can print with the numbers that is the discussion what I am going to do next. As I discussed previously here uh, we could see first it is printing the space and then it is printing the number so which indicates that we need to run with the three different loop. First for loop is dedicated for printing the numbers. Second for loop we have to run to display the space and third for loop to display the actual content. So how we can proceed with uh, first we will be starting with one and it need to print one two and next one two three like this the pattern need to be displayed. So if we run with the generalized way First, we will be asking with the number of rows need to be run. We will be asking from the user to enter the number of rows. So, here the first loop need to uh, execute it till less than or equal to number. In the sense, if the user has given 5, the uh, R is less than or equal to 5. First, for loop is over for printing the rows. Next, for loop is majorly used for printing the space. If you look, here is it connected somewhere to the number and to the space provider here the number given is 5 and how many spaces are printed total 4 spaces are provided so when we print the first pattern so the space it need to provide is n minus r that is uh, row is nothing but r is nothing but uh, 1 here Number is nothing but so total 4 spaces need to be printed in the very beginning. So I will be giving the condition number is nothing but here as a 5 minus 1. So 4 spaces I want to print by using this second for loop. What is the condi uh, statement to write the um, space? Simple printf with providing the space. And the next condition is for loop uh, that we are using to print the content. So here first uh, it will be printing 1 and next 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So there's a third for loop for uh, display purpose P is also running along with R. That is uh, when R is uh, with the value 1, it will be running one time. When the R value is 2, this uh, inner loop will be executing two times as we observe here. That's why we have connected the condition P is less than or equal to R. And what is the content we have to display? In the printf statement what we want to display. That is the next question. First it will print 1 and next 1, 2. Is it somewhere connected to the P value? Yes, definitely. So first the P value will be 1 and next R value will be 2 for the next iteration. So, this P loop will be running with 1 and 2. For the third iteration, R value will be 3. So, P loop will be running with the values 1, 2, 3. So, if we write the printf statement by uh, printing the value of 3, we will be ending up with pattern 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And parallelly, we will be giving the new line. Or this pattern can also be right. Uh, can also be written by exclusively mentioning the space. If this pattern is very fixed with a uh, maximum of 5 pattern, only this pattern if we want to print, then uh, as we observe, first the space will be starting with 4 and which will be keep decrementing. We have uh, this is for the displaying the rows, maximum 5 rows. Here, this is the second for loop for displaying the space. Here rather than the previous code we have just started the, with the space equal to 1 and we have run till n minus i. Here rather than that we will be exclusively mentioning the how many number of space we want to print. So we started with j equal to 4 and j will be greater than or equal to i. Why that greater than or equal to i value? So total 4 spaces we have to print for the first time. So, and j will be keep decrementing each time. So, with this we will be possible to print the 4 spaces for the first time. Next it will be 3, 2 and 
196. This is how the content that we want is same display. So one more uh, just by removing along with this one more option what we have seen here we have provided the space as well. That's why it a uh, major important point. Uh, we have along with the printing the value here we are observing the space as well. After 1 there is a space, after displaying 2 there is a space, after displaying 3 there is a space. Suppose if we remove the space between that then we will be ending up with the pattern like this. Same pattern what we have observed the content will be same but here there is no space between that that we have uh, performed or achieved by removing the space in the innermost for loop. Next pattern what we want to display here is first it will display 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. After uh, seeing so many patterns, one major clue that we will get into uh, is here something we have to print the value of i in the innermost loop. And how long we have to run the space? Here also the space will remain as it is with the previous code. One small change what we are uh, uh, need to do is with the printing. So previously we were displaying the p value. Now we are displaying the r value. Why displaying the p value? We have uh, ended with the 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 like that. Now the value of r is printed. So first time this uh, value will be 1 is printed. Second time this loop will be executed two times since we have written the condition is p is less than or equal to r. So 2 and 2 is printed for the next time 3 will be printed for 3 times. This is a simple code that we have used to print this pattern. Along with this we have given the space so that it will be printed like a pyramid structure. Otherwise the code will look in a very attached manner. The same one more way as we observed in the code previously, we can explicitly mention the space, how much we have to begin with the initially and we can uh, connect with j is greater than or equal to i. So 4 will be printed for the first time, next 3, 2, 1 like that. So for the last iteration, it will not print this space. This is also one more way how we can connect. Here by removing the space, Space here we will be ending up with this pattern. This is how we can print the pattern. One more last pattern what we observe here is we will be ending up with the pyramid kind uh, pattern with numbers, continuous number. So how we can begin? Yes, we want to use one variable by initializing the initializing the value one. And uh, previously we have not observed with the space. Now one more addition to that is by providing the space. So we have to run three different loops. One for rows and one more for space and one more for providing the displaying the content. First it will be displaying the rows how long as per the given number. And space will be displayed as same logic what we have observed. Space will begin with one and uh, a number minus r that is the first time what is the space it displayed and later for the each time it will be keep decrementing and the major uh, point what we want to display here first thing here the value is going to be printed that we are referred by using the variable val and the val value will be keep incrementing each time so that we will be uh, ended up with incrementation of values and finally we will be giving the new line character. This is how we can print the pattern. So as a just uh, one curious question, what will be the output of this particular code? Here uh, we will be declaring the variable and we are asking for the user to enter the value. Say for example user has entered the value as 3 and here we have uh, worked with the two different uh, loops. So what will be the uh, output of this. What is the first loop says? It will begin with 1 and it will extend it till the end value 3. And so this outer loop will be uh, first time with the value 1 it will come inside and uh, here it will be printing the value as j equal to 1 
and j will be less than or equal to 10. With the value j equal to 1, it will move inside. Uh, j 1 is less than or equal to 10. Condition is true. With the value i into j is going to be calculated and it will be printed onto screen. So, what will be the value first time? It will print 1. For the next time, the here j value is incremented. So, it is 2. 2, 1 into 2. So, 2 is printed like this. 1, 2, 3 like that. It will be 8. It is played till 10. For the next, the value of i is incremented. Now, i value will be 2. With the 2, it will be coming inside. So, 2 into j value will be 1. 2 into 2, 2. And uh, 2 with the j incremented value 2. 2 into 2, 4. Like this, it will be keep the, uh, displaying the 2's table. So, first, as we, uh, next one more iteration, it will run with the value 3 as a i value. So, what it indicates, so what is the final output we will be ended up with as a uh, multiplication table of given number. So, here the number is given as 3. So, all uh, values will be 1's multiplication table. And next, the 2's multiplication table is printed and 3's multiplication table is printed just with by using the nested for loop. Uh, here in this session, I, will, I have discussed completely the major aspects how we can display the patterns by using uh, nested for loops and uh, majorly to print the star pattern different format to print the uh, numbers in different ways and by using the decrement operators and by printing uh, alphabets to the screen and by displaying the pyramid kind of pattern by using the spaces. Thank you for listening.